Okay, I'm ready for round right. two. So on this one, you want me just to cover the process of the piece since we already went through the machine yeah, and everything? Yeah, okay. that, you know, just kind of, yeah, that full yeah. flow would okay. be great. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do bracelet this time. Um, you'll notice I did not tighten the piece, the wire down tight on the area. Okay. And that's because I want to make sure that we don't leave an area that cannot get plated. Okay. Okay, there's enough contact on the bottom uh, portion of this bracelet to work. No okay. problem. Cool. Um, so we're back at seven volts. We're gonna start with our degreasing. Same as last time, we're gonna go one minute. So this one we should expect to see a little bit more amperage. Occasionally when they sit, because this is a salted uh, degreasing powder and it uh -huh. does gas off because of the heat, Gotcha. You'll just need to take some DI water and clean those contacts. And now okay. you'll see we're almost six amps. So if you ever see low amps, just clean those two contacts real quick and it'll come, okay. come back up. If you, yes, exactly. If you put a piece that's too long into the bath, remember that magnetic pellets down there? Oh, okay. It could dislodge it. To get it back in its location, you need to turn this off. Okay. Then it'll suck the pellet back to the center. Oh, okay. But if it's spinning, it won't. It'll reject it. Okay. So just a little trick. If you can't get it on there, turn this off and gotcha. it'll go back on there. You should always see this white foam. If for some reason you're not seeing it foam like this, mm -hmm. that means either your concentration is too low and you need to remake your electric cleaner bath, okay. or check your amperage, you must not have enough conductivity because you should see it cover the entire surface like that. Okay, perfect. And this is two minutes again, correct? One minute. Oh, one minute. One minute in degreaser. Okay. Okay. It's probably going to be warm, so I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Again, you see the color, it's nice and bright. That means we got a good clean. I'm gonna rinse it good, making sure we don't have too much drag. Then we're gonna go in the neutralizer, again, about 10 seconds. Okay, then in the rinse, I'm gonna set that rectifier. This next one we're going to go into, remember we're doing four volts for the GT4A. Okay. And this one we're going to go two minutes for one micron. Do you want to put one micron or a half micron or? Yeah, one, one micron, okay. yeah. Right. It's important when we go in and out of the bath that we don't contact the cathode bar and the anode bar or the anode itself. Okay. It'll can just arc a, and it'll create. Nah, you won't get a shock, but you can burn the piece. Okay. So this piece is spinning a little bit, so I'm going to tighten it up a little to keep it from getting too close to the anode. Notice I can even hold my finger there. It's not gonna electrocute me. Okay. It's no problem. And this one's not gonna create enough heat that it's gonna be a problem. And we're pulling right where we should be, about one amp. It's a little bigger piece than we did last time. Agitation looks good. The gassing looks good. Sometimes you have to hold the piece like this with bigger parts. In the two liter machine, you have more room. Okay. The piece can turn, but remember it's important to try and keep that distance from the anode to the part pretty consistent. Okay. Um, in the two liter, again, you're wider, so you're probably gonna have another anode. Okay. Now, is there any need for an exhaust hood or? Um, yeah, I mean, it's good to have it for yeah. sure. In, in the setup we have in the lab, yeah. we have an exhaust hood over okay. this. Um, it also depends on the type of bath. So your high acid baths will gas. Okay, so for example, 
Um, if you did a ruthenium bath, even a rhodium bath with high acid, it gases off and you can smell it. Okay. Um, so it is good to keep is it those. Is harmful? Um, not necessarily. Okay. But if you were over it all day long, breathing sure. it in a lot, it we have had that. some people that, uh, uh, you know, have had like an allergic reaction. Okay. Um, we had somebody who, for some reason, they were allergic to the fuming from the acid from a rhodium bath, mm -hmm. and they would break out really bad in hives every time they did it. Okay. He ended up having to uh, they put an exhaust hood that really pulled everything back instead of up in front of his face. Okay. And then it solved the problem. I got you. All right. So this one's done. We've got our thickness layer down. We're going to rinse. We're going to adjust our rectifier to three volts for the flash and then we're going to be in here for 30 seconds and this is going to change our color so you see there what the color is now more of a 24 karat color mm -hmm. and now we're going to come in here and this one again is how long this one's 30 seconds 30 seconds okay Agitation's good. Amperage should be it's correct, 12.2. Now, just throughout one day, if you had these hot during a full day work, you'll already see because of these temperatures, the water evaporate off. Mm. Each bath has a line in the back of the bath if you can see in the back of that tank, you see that line right there that's yeah. etched in the tank? Yeah. It's important to keep your fill level as close to that as possible. Okay. If it begins to get too low, it will, uh, it can damage the heater. Okay. Rinse good. You can hit the neutralizer for just a few seconds. Another good rinse. to go. Lighting looks good. That's killing. Wire looks good. Then we dry the part. Now drying can be done either like this um, with a paper towel. You really don't want to rub because okay. you don't want to scratch the surface. Some paper towels are pretty abrasive. The other thing you can have is a heat gun or like a blow dryer. Okay, good to know. And that's generally what I use. I have a little heat gun and I'll just hold it up and run the heat gun. Okay. And that'll dry it out good. That part's done.